Welcome to another episode coming at you from ChooseYourRelationships.com Offer of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com And in this episode, I'm going to talk about why you really have to watch the company that you keep in today's time in the environment that we live in And you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I always talk, I always say repeatedly that you're only as strong as the people that you have around you. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes, I think the majority of times, especially today, a lot, a lot of people, a lot of guys for this illustration, you know, have a lot of people around them, a lot of women around them. Um, at best, most of these people are incompetent. But what's um, so hard and so difficult about it is some of these people are our friends and family. Some of these people have been around us for years, probably almost our entire lives. Or, and some of these people are very close to us. So we don't really want to hurt their feelings. We don't really, you know, we don't wish anything bad on them. And I think some of these people don't wish anything bad on you as well. But then you got some people, they, you know, they're very combative, like as far as women goes for this purpose. Women, for example, they can be very combative, very um, disrespectful. And you got some women that just flat out just don't care. Now, now if this... If this is what you're experiencing right now, you're going to have to get rid of this woman because you cannot build anything with a woman that's disrespectful to you, don't care, and she's in competition with you. Now, maybe she was, at, maybe at one point she was very respectful of you, but I don't know what happened, but whatever happened, just know that you cannot repair it cannot be repaired i just haven't seen it work out like that i haven't seen no relationship in my entire life that a woman that that was totally disrespectful to a guy that, that a woman all of a sudden she was he she's in competition with a guy she doesn't care about the relationship doesn't care about you and doesn't even care about herself i have not in my entire life ever seen anyone repair that relationship I just haven't seen it and I'm not saying it's impossible but I haven't seen it and what I can say to you is if it is possible if it is possible to repair a relationship that's so damaged how long is it going to take and what are you willing to do to repair that relationship and it's going to take more than one person it's, the, the repair that relationship is going to be it's going to take a team effort and see because see, see, see some guys try to stick it out some guys try to stick it out you know for, for, for very logical reasons because they don't want to break the family up they care about the kids but nine times out of ten this woman don't care about no kids and she don't care nothing but no family she's only thinking about herself and see if you're with a woman if you're giving her uh, advice or instructions on how to do something maybe something happened maybe she went to work maybe she was mistreated maybe she was um let I'll give you an example let's say she was mistreated. Maybe she got taken advantage of. Uh, maybe she, um, maybe she ordered something online, and she got double charged, right? And she comes to you and say, "Hey, I got double charged by this company. You know, I, I called them a couple times. They don't believe me. What do I do?" So you tell her what to do. One, two, three, four steps. Boom, right? And she comes back to you a couple days later and says, hey, I didn't do what you told me. 
I did what my mom told me. I did what my friends told me. I did what the, the co-worker told me at work. Now, if that happens consistently, three, four, five, six times, you're going to have to get rid of that woman. Because, uh, see, see, what's going to happen is, is something's going to happen later on in the relationship. And, see, it's going to escalate. It's going to be bigger and bigger. More things are going to happen. And a lot of times, a lot of guys, most guys, any guy, I'll, I'll say this, any guy that feels good about themselves, he's confident, he loves himself, eventually they're going to get frustrated with that woman. You know, that's why you have to leave her. See, see, this is what happens. See, it's going to get worse. You know, the guy's going to get frustrated with that woman. And, you know, it, eventually he's going to find himself more than likely putting his, putting his hands on this woman in some type of way, you know, and a lot of that is based on frustration because no guy that feels good about himself wants to come home and compete with somebody else that he's been f competing with out, out, in, out in the street, at the job, Wherever he dwells at during the daytime or nighttime or where, whenever he leaves the house, there's no guy that feels good about himself, wants to come home and compete with another little monster at home. And you're supposed to be his woman. No man in the right mind wants to go through that. So that's where a lot of the frustration comes in that. Because, you know, he's thinking that Hey, this woman's supposed to have my back. You know, she's supposed to have my best interests. But she's very disrespectful. And now I'm frustrated. You know, I, I work five, six days a week. I take care of the household. I do what I'm supposed to do. I'm a responsible man. And nine times out of ten, they probably got kids together. So, so he's sitting there thinking, hey, he's trying to you know, create a better lifestyle for himself, the family, and the kids. Meanwhile, the woman is sitting there thinking about when when she's going to be able to go to the, the, the newest restaurant in town. So you cannot build anything with anybody that's like that. You, you're going to have to get rid of them. You know, some guys try to stick it out, and I'm telling you, I just haven't seen it work out like that see the problem with some guys is they spend too much time with the wrong women and it doesn't have to be just one woman you can have two or three women but if you're spending time with the wrong woman it's a waste of time you know life is too short to be wasting your time and spending your time around the wrong people that's why i have a philosophy I rock with those that rock with me. If I feel one second that somebody doesn't want me doesn't want me around, if I don't feel welcome, I get up and leave. And now if I can't get up and leave at that moment, or if I can't leave at that time, I'll plan to leave. So I'm not saying when I, when I'm when I when I say you have to let her go. Now I know that it probably took y'all some time to move together and get together. So I know it's, it's going to more likely it's going to be a process of leaving, getting away from her, which is very logical and it makes sense. But you have to plan to get rid of that woman. You cannot build anything long term with that woman because what's going to happen, you're going to, if you try to build anything, or have anything or create anything with a woman that's combative and just straight up disrespectful what's going to happen is you're going to you're going to go up and down up and down up and down you're always going to hit that hit that glass ceiling and 
In some cases, she might straight up just try to sabotage what you have going on. And she'll do it in such a way where it's like you might not even realize it. You know, I mean, she's not going to support you. Forget about it. If she doesn't respect you, doesn't think your word is law, doesn't take any of your advice, you know she ain't going to help you build nothing. You know she ain't going to help you build anything long-term that's self-sustaining that you can pass down to the kids or you can, you know, if you start talking this family thing, she don't care nothing about that. She ain't trying to hear none of that shit from you. Now, she'll go to that job and kiss ass five days a week. Kiss, the, kiss everybody ass. Supervise the ass, everything. But when she come home, can't respect you for whatever reason. You know, it, I don't know exactly what could have happened over the years between you and her. But what I can say is this. If, if a woman disrespects you early on, early in the beginning, you know, that's going to dictate how the communication is going to go. And if you check her, if she does anything you don't like, if you check her early in the beginning, and if she doesn't respond in a genuine, genuine type of manner, or she just pushes it off and just continuously does the same thing over again, you're going to have to get rid of her, you know? See, how you start in the beginning is very important. You know, even though a lot of women can perpetrate the fraud, but even, they can't do it forever. You can't perpetrate the fraud forever, you know? And then you have some women, they'll manipulate and, and finesse the relationship as long as they can, or whatever but even still then they still get exposed so when they expose themselves you still gotta have to get rid of them you still have to get rid of them because you're only as strong as the people you have around you and she's going to be the weakest link this is why so many guys are in jail today the reason why so many guys are in jail today because they had the wrong people around them they had snitches they had people that that's squealing, people that's willing to take a payout. And that's how a lot of these guys ended up in jail. They didn't necessarily, a lot of these guys didn't necessarily do anything wrong. The woman that they had around them or the people that they had, had around them just ran their damn mouth. And they started saying shit that they shouldn't have been saying. And even you, you gotta watch. Today, you gotta really be careful of who you talking to and what you say to them. And you're gonna have to vent people and filter out people. And every once in a while, you might have to test people out, see if they're still down on your team. See if they're still loyal. See if they can still be trusted to a certain extent every once in a while. So you gotta, I always say you got to stay at least two to five steps ahead of the game. So my mom, my parents used to always tell me, watch the company you keep. And, you know, when I was young, I didn't really understand where it was coming from. But until I got older, I realized what they really meant by that. Because a lot of, look at, look at, look at somebody like Cosby. If Cosby, if Bill Cosby have never met any of these women in his life. If Bill Cosby would have never been an entertainer, he probably would have never, more than likely, he wouldn't have been in trouble with none of this bullshit, with none of these women. If he would have never went to the Playboy Mansion, to be specifically, if he would have never went to the Playboy Mansion, he would have never meant any of these women. So think about that. If he would have never met Hugh Hefner, he would have never met any of these women. And this is why you got to watch the company that you keep. Because you never know 
their intentions. You never know who you're cutting deals with. You just never know. You might have an idea. Oh, of course, y'all might talk about it. Of course, y'all might party together. Of course, y'all might have threesomes. Of course. Yeah, you might do all of that. But that's just, that doesn't really mean anything. It's just talk, coffee talk, and a couple of holes around the table. And a couple of holes in the, in the back room. But as time go on, when the dough get low, people usually show who they really are. So hey, watch the company you keep. You know, be careful of the women that you let let get close to you. And um, hey, if you like what you heard, subscribe to my channel. Check out my blog, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Share this video with anybody that you think that would see it of value. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.